Welcome back. I'm reassembling this 500cc Rotax 493 series engine and uh, it's kind of getting all maybe a little bit out of order but definitely not the order I'd like to do it in. Um, I don't have wrist pin bearings so I can't put the top end on. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill up the cavity where the oil pump drive would be and the water pump drive is. And the reason I'm going to fill that is because I'm using a block off plate rather than an oil pump. I'm going to pre-mix the fuel in this engine. I've got this surface cleaned up. I've got my plate, gasket, and bolts ready to go. And I need to fill this entire cavity. So basically what happens when you block this off, you get a little oil bottle and it hooks onto this line right here. So this is the Skidoo oil bottle. I have an adapter and a line and it goes down to here. You fill this up with oil and this little nipple right here actually goes into the cavity where all of this stuff sits. So because you don't want to spend days filling it up through this bottle, I'm going to go ahead and put oil in this area to start with. And probably make a mess because this is a really full bottle. Yep, called it. So this is going to still take a little while because there is a bearing that's going to slow the oil into the, that's going to slow oil running in there. But as I pour this, this will run down through the bearing and fill that entire cavity up. If you don't fill this cavity up, there are some bearings for the water pump and the water pump drive that will get destroyed. And uh, it's a plastic gear on the crank that runs on the crankshaft, but there is a possibility you could damage the crankshaft as well. Yeah. All right. So I made kind of a mess there. I definitely overfilled the oil and you can actually see it starting to drip out this top. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on camera or not but there is oil dripping out of this top section now as well so I'll go ahead and uh, it's not exactly the cleanest thing in the world but this is the line that comes off of that I'll just plug it with that for now um, this is good and full all right now I got a little bit of extra oil down inside that bolt hole but it'll be all right um, I don't want to spray brake clean on that because it'll get down into the oil. But I'll just spray some on a rag. I'll use that brake cleaned up rag to clean the area where the seal is actually going to sit. So I also got a bunch of oil all over that. So now that's nice and clean, uh, nice and dry. Brake clean dries off really quick. Just go ahead and put this block off plate on go ahead snug that down okay so now that's on um, again not really a great time to do it but because I'm kind of out of other stuff to work on right at the moment that's kind of what's happening also with this block off plate you're gonna have to connect these two so you'll use just a piece of small fuel safe hose and connect those up now I should be able to sit this thing upright that oil that I just dripped ever that I just leaked everywhere I'll drip a little bit but otherwise this shouldn't really go anywhere um, and like I said this then hooks into the bottle this hose off of this nipple and it totally fills up with oil so I should be able to pull that off of there now with it upright this is now the highest point in the system so it should have a little bit of leeway as to where the oil is actually at that's it that's just pre-filling the crankcase with the block off plate thanks for watching hit the subscribe button and i'll see you later